We understand uh, that they are now resuming that search effort. They've been hampered by heavy rains all night. That was a problem yesterday as well. Uh, yesterday we saw a team of elite uh, Navy SEALs going in. They actually got lost themselves. Contact is, not surprisingly, very difficult in these deep caves and grottos. Uh, which have been flooded out. It's the rainy season here in Thailand at the moment. A lot of flood, flood water has got into those caves. Uh, the seals reported that in some places it's, it's as much as seven meters deep. Now, they say they're assuming that the boys carried on working when they found the carried on walking when they found the waters rising behind them, um, and they think they're trapped in, in one of these little pockets. Uh, they have, however, gone seven kilometers in so far, uh, of these nine-kilometer deep caves. So they're sort of running out of options. Uh, we understand they went back in uh, at uh, 6.40 local time. That's about 40 minutes ago. So they're, they're still optimistic, however. The other effort that's ongoing is uh, an attempt to try and pump out a lot of this flood water. Now, again, that's been very difficult because it's raining outside, but we, we understand that's happening. That said... Uh, the boys have now been missing for 72 hours. We don't know exactly how long because we don't know exactly when they went into the caves, but uh, it's about uh, three days now. Um, locals are holding out uh, hope that they're still alive. People have been in, trapped in these caves for longer periods of time. Uh, but when we spoke to the governor of Chiang Rai province last night, he said it was pretty much at this stage a race against time. We try to do our best, and uh, tomorrow, uh, or about five or six o'clock, uh, we will send the, all the team inside and uh, find find the, the the kid. And do you know how long you have? How long before they're really in danger of either running uh, out of oxygen? I, I I I cannot expect that how long, but every minute is uh, important. The sense of urgency there, Tony, from the governor, but he didn't really answer the question. Has anyone said how long this group can survive in this type of cave? And as you mentioned, it's been some 72 hours. Yeah, I think at this stage they just don't know. They found very little evidence of the boys inside the caves. We went to the entrance yesterday. You could see the bicycles that they had rode up one pair of football boots. They just finished the game of football when they went on this expedition. Uh, we don't know what kind of provisions they have with them. The conditions in the cave are pretty tough. It's, uh, it's 20 degrees in there, so it's pretty chilly. The water is even colder. We assume that they're probably wet at this stage. There's a very considerable risk of hypothermia, and that increases in a lot as, as time goes on. Um, so uh, there are so many variables. I think it's very difficult for the rescuers to say. That said, people have been recovered from these caves. I mean, this does happen, unfortunately. There are signs warning people not to go into the caves in the rainy season, but they have done in the past, and they've been recovered in the past as, after as many as five days being trapped inside, but uh, not as many people as this. And uh, we, we understand that the rains have been particularly hard on this occasion. Uh, so it is very difficult, and as, as the governor said, as you heard, at this stage it is just a race against time and every minute is counting. All right, Tony Chang, live for us from Thailand. Thank you.